we're with B. Brian Blair here from the Killer Bees, and you were trained by Hiro Masuda, the same man that trained Hulk Hogan. Did he break your leg as well, or did he oh, go a little easier on you? Matsuda was an awesome guy. He was a tough guy. You know, he uh, he loved to hurt us. I remember the first day I went into uh, the dungeon in Tampa, Florida, 106 North Albany Street, and uh, Hiro had me doing push-ups, sit-ups wrestled me for 20 minutes, real real wrestling, and that's a long time, anybody that wrestled amateur. And uh, he uh, hooked me because I didn't know jujitsu like you see on UFC yet, but Hero taught me that. But the first day, uh, I, I threw up all over outside the ring. The second day, I threw up all over outside the ring. The third day, I rolled out of the ring and I laid there and it was kind of, but nothing came out and Hero took his foot and he lifted it up under my chin and. He said, what's the matter, boy, you know puke today? I said, uh, Mr. Matsuda, I'm sorry, but I haven't eaten since the last time I ate, since the last time I threw up. And so he laughed a little bit, and I knew he liked me, and that was a good thing. And you feuded with Jesse Ventura. He obviously went into politics. You also have been in politics. Yeah. Uh, what was that feud like, and did that have anything to do with you going into politics? No, uh, Jesse was my like my roommate for six months in, uh, in Kansas City, and we actually for the first time in two years, sold Kansas City Auditorium out. And we were so green back then that I beat, beat him up so bad, he never stopped me, which he should have, and for a comeback. So Bob Geigel and the other guys back there, Pat O'Connor, they were, they were pretty peed, but uh, we went on, you know, and life goes on and you learn the wrestling business as you go. And you feuded with Antonio Inoki, or you actually at least had matches with him. What was that like? Lots of matches. I tore three tendons in Japan, Hiroshima. These three tendons are torn, are sewn together. I don't know if you can. So they That's cut crazy. way down here. Uh, that was from. So I have to move them all together. If I hold one, they don't do. They don't work. So then I did that with Tully Blanchard and uh, stabbed with uh, uh, the uh, Viking. Um, Eric the Red in uh, Louisiana, lots of injuries, all our squirted blood on Ivana Trump. Uh, and uh, Donald was very nice to me, actually put his handkerchief, gave me his handkerchief, made sure the ambulance was there. Lots of stories. You know, I've been from Maine to Spain. I've been around the world. I've been, been deep down in the Ukraine. I've been from ocean to ocean. I've been from coast to coast. But you know what? Great, West, great Western wrestling is one of the things that I dig the most. Excellent. Like, and one more quick question here. I understand you're the one that actually saved Brutus Beefcake's life in that parasailing accident. Is yeah, Brutus Beefcake, man. He, uh, uh, we were parasailing at a friend's house and everybody was getting up. The rope uh, from the sail is about 100 yards long. And the, somebody stands in the middle to make sure they run across the beach and to make sure they get altitude. And as this young girl was running across, Brutus was always turning the right way because if you turn in and they don't get al altitude, you can get hurt. Well, Brutus just happened to turn in. The girl hit him right in the chin. She was trying to lift her knees up to, to get over his head. And uh, he went down into the water and disappeared. So I jumped into the water and pulled him back and got the water out of him. And he was breathing and I said, Brutus, open your mouth, open your mouth. He goes, it is, it is. Well, his he was crushed from here to here and his teeth, his top teeth were laying on his bottom teeth. So when he was moving, this part was moving up and the teeth were laying on his other teeth. It's brutal. And I just have to ask, since he's right behind us, did you make up with the Iron Sheik after the ongoing feud you had for years? Uh, I'll never totally make up with the Sheik and he's t totally made a, he tried to make a positive gesture, but I know if I would have got too close to him, he probably would have smacked me in the face, but I, I wished him good health. You, know, you, I, you beat him in an amateur wrestling match at one point in time, didn't you? I stretched him in Hershey, yes. And finally, you're now the president of the Cauliflower Alley Club. Yes. When is next year's reunion and uh, where can we follow you? Uh, well, you can go to caulifloweralleyclub.org and uh, check it out. It's the greatest club in the universe. We have like 350 wrestling members. We have like 650 fan members active and um, everybody meets once a year in Vegas. This year it's uh, May 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Check it out on our website. And the Cauliflower Alley Club is the only 501c3. Uh, I don't get paid, nobody gets paid. We pay for our own tickets and our own banquet tickets and our flights and our, our room. Of course, we have discounted stuff for our fans and for our members, um, well, for our members. 
So it's only $25 to join. Go to caulifloweralleyclub.org, join up and join the greatest fraternity in the world. We've helped more wrestlers that you know and have watched and entertained you than you can imagine. So help them out. Well, thanks very much for being on our channel and uh, best of luck to you. Thank you guys very much.